All right, so Global got a new data download this morning. And as always, in today's video, we are going to find out exactly what it was all about. Now, before we get into it, I do want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here. And we are starting with a promo video for the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit. So let me just uh, play that for you guys real quick. Here we go. Oh, my bad. Let me turn up the volume a bit. Okay. Uh, here we go. Well, Goku, you are making good progress. But I'm still not going to lose to someone like you. Now this is where the real fight begins. <laughs> this is getting fun! Alright, so there you go, LR Super Saiyan God Goku, and uh, Hit arrives, and I can't lie guys, I just really, I can't stand the animations for this unit, I just, I'm not a big fan, I'm not a big fan, but anyways, uh, nice promo video, uh, essentially just taking the animations and adding that screen at the end, uh, probably didn't take too much time to make, but cool, nonetheless. And uh, from there, we have, of course, the assets for the STR LR hit and Goku. So, this is their SSR form. This is going to be their TUR form. And finally, we have the LR art, which admittedly is pretty cool, but I uh, don't like the effect when it goes like there's like that like white cloud thing or mist thing, and then Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue. Not a huge fan of that effect, but. This art is actually really nice. It's really nice. And uh, we also have some labels for the new category called Accelerated Battle, which is actually a fairly solid category. Actually one of the better new categories we've seen. And uh, we also have some stages for the new Extreme Z area for the three free to play universe, uh, universe 6 units. The Tech Kaba, the uh, Int, is it Int? Kale, yeah, Int Kale, and also the STR Khalifla. And uh, in a second, we'll talk about exactly what those Extreme Z, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings look like. But these are the stages uh, for Kale, Khalifla, and uh, Kaba for the Extreme Z Awakenings. And then we also have some sticker masks for the free to play units. So this is for the Kaba, this is for Khalifla, and uh, this is for the Kale. And from there, we have all the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the uh, Universe 6 units as well. Of course, for Kaba, or Khalifla, and also for Kale. And from there, uh, oh, okay, so we have the Extreme Z Awakening medal for the AGL LR Goku and Bulma, who is going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening from the new stages of Extreme Super Battle Road, which are dropping tonight as well. So that's pretty exciting. Expect 10 new videos for uh, all 10 stages over the next couple of days. And once you complete all the stages, you get all the Extreme Z Awakening medals we need to Extreme Z Awaken this LR. And uh, we also have apparently an adjustment to the Majin Vegeta Peton Battle sticker. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what the adjustment is. Maybe they added more effects or something like that unless was this the pre adjustment and this is the post adjustment I'm not sure because I always thought there was that like big Majin Vegeta in the back so uh, yeah I'm not too sure exactly what the adjustment was but there was a change here and uh, we also got some new wallpapers these are the ones that we voted for so this is the uh, Gogeta versus Janemba this is the uh, DBS Broly wallpaper as well which is really nice and uh, finally, we have the one with Jiren and uh, SSB Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku as well. And last but not least, we have a few new treasure items. So this is the rainbow sticker, not sticker, sorry, uh, the rainbow ticket that we'll be getting for the Tanabata banner, which is dropping relatively soon, maybe in a week or so. And uh, these will be used for that banner, and that's going to be the one that includes the uh, 
you know, Anniversary UI Goku, SSB Vegeta, and also the Tech Gogeta. And this ticket is for the Rising Dragon Carnival, or Divine Dragon Carnival it's called, I guess, because it's a special Double Race banner with uh, the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit. So two new tickets right there, as well as a new uh, Blue Dragon Stone. Now this is not going to be free to play, it's going to be available in the Baba Shop most likely, so you have to buy this one, and uh, I'm not sure if the pool is going to be changing, I will take a look, if there are some adjustments then I'll uh, make a video recommending people you know, what to get with the Blue Dragon Stone if you guys decide to get that, but uh, that essentially is the data download guys. That concludes, or that includes everything that was added to the global database, from the tickets to the new Dragonstone to the wallpapers, um, the Peton battle adjustment, as well as this new pack here, the Extreme Z Awakening medal for the LR Goku and Bulma, the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Free to Play Universe Six units, their sticker masks, their Extreme Z area stages, the new category, and of course the new LR, LR Super Saiyan God Goku and hit once again. And uh, there you go guys, so big big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting this. And the last thing we gotta do before we go is take a look at these Extreme Z Awakenings. So let's start with the LR first. Before the EZA, leader skill is youth category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, colossal damage with a rare chance of stunning, uh, 18 key super, mega colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning. And passive is attack and defense plus 7% per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team up to 35%. Attack and defense plus 7% per youth category ally on the team up to 35%. And uh, attack and defense plus 7% per DB Saga category ally on the team up to 35%. Key plus 1 per joint forces category ally on the team up to 5%. Or sorry, not 5%. Up to 5. Up to key plus 5. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening... Leader skill becomes youth category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a rare chance of stunning. And then 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, mega colossal damage, and medium chance of stunning. And then passive is attack and defense plus 50%, attack and defense plus 10% per Dragon Ball Seeker on the uh, Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. Attack and defense plus 10% per youth category. Ally on the team up to 50%, attack and defense plus 10% per DB Saga, category ally on the team up to 50%, and then key plus 3 per joint forces, category ally on the team up to plus 6. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, or Bulma Youth attacking in the same turn. So essentially, the major differences are that they get the 50% attack and defense without any conditions, which they didn't have before. And then all of the additional boosts for different category allies are now attack and defense plus 10% as opposed to uh, 7% and it maxes out at 50% for each category. And then uh, the key is up to 6 and the um, new part here is the additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack if you have that Goku, uh, youth Goku or youth Bulma attacking in the same turn in the same rotation. So uh, yeah, very solid Extreme Z Awakening, just some bigger boosts and also that additional super. Um, not much more to say, except uh, I like it. I like it. So from there, let's talk about the Universe 6 free to play units, starting with the Khalifla. Leader skill, before the EZA of course, is STR type to keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack supreme damage, and raises defense by 30% for one turn. And passive is attack and defense plus 20% up to 80% and chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks plus 15% up to 60% per universe survival saga category ally on the team. Attack plus 50% when... hold on. Oh yeah, this is before the EZA. Okay, for a second I was like, is this the Extreme Z Awakening? But it's not. Uh, my bad. Going back to the passive now. Attack plus 50% when there is an ally whose name includes Kale on the team and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack if that ally is attacking in the same turn. So if you have that Kale in the same rotation, then you get 50% attack and also an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super. And then with the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill becomes Rapid Growth Category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or STR types key plus 3. 
HP, attack, and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns, and passive is attack and defense plus 30% up to 160%, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 15% up to 60%, Earth Universe Survival Saga category ally on the team, attack plus 70% when there is a character whose name includes Kale on the team, and that launches an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack if the ally is also on the same turn. So basically the same passive, just bigger boosts. The percentages are just bigger, and uh, that is the Khalifla Extreme Z Awakening. But of course, 60% dodge chance is really, really good, and uh, you know, she's getting up to like over 200% attack, up to 160% defense, and that chance for uh, additional super if you have Kale, which obviously like you know another kale would be one of her best linking partners anyways so you would always want to run her with another kale ideally so uh yeah very good extreme z awakening right there for the free to play leafla now moving on to the free to play int super saiyan 2 kale pre extreme z awakening leader skill is int types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack supreme damage and lowers defense and passive is universe survival saga key plus two uh, allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, defense plus 50% when there is an ally whose name includes a Leafla on the team, and all all allies uh, keep plus 1, and attack and defense plus 10% if that ally is attacking in the same turn. So she is basically giving keep plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40% if you have Khalifla on the same rotation. And then after the easy 8, leader skill is full power, keep plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 77% or int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage and lowers defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack, universe survival saga category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, defense plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Khalifla on the team, and all allies keep plus 1 and attack and defense and chance to perform a critical hit plus 16% if that ally is attacking on the same turn. So just like Khalifla, uh, she's getting some bigger percentages. Actually, she didn't have any attack and defense boost for herself, did she? No, she didn't. So that 120% is, is brand new on the super attack. And then she gets a better support as well with Khalifla um, on rotation. So that is the Kale, and finally we have Super Saiyan 2 Kava. Before the Extreme Z Awakening, Tech Types Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%, Supreme Damage, and then Passive is Attack plus 80% when performing a Super Attack, Chance to perform a Critical Hit plus 7%, up to 49% per Universe Survival Saga Category Ally on the team. After Extreme Z Awakening, Bond of Master and Disciple Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Tech Types Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and raises allies defense by 30% for one turn, passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack, attack and defense and uh, chance to perform a critical hit plus 7% up to 49%, Earth universe survival saga category ally on the team, plus an additional attack plus 70% when there's another pure Saiyans category ally attacking on the same team, so, or, sorry, attacking on the same turn. So obviously, any Kale, Khalifla, or, you know, Vegeta, or whatever, uh, from the Universe Survival Saga category can fit this criteria, so that's gonna be really easy to achieve. And, uh, yeah, that is the ABBA. All three of these Extreme Z Awakenings are quite good, in my opinion, and, uh, of course, this EZ8 is also very solid. So four really good Extreme Z Awakenings along with all the other stuff coming to Global with the new celebration. And uh, one thing that of course is not here yet but we know it's coming is the New Year's Step Up banner. So that's also something that you guys need to save for. I guess just keep in mind because uh, you will be getting the guaranteed LR for the rotations. So um, for anybody that wants that just make sure to uh, save some extra stones. For the step up banner but aside from that uh that is the data download guys thank you to my boy proton 10 mg as always and uh, thank you guys for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you'll like what you see 
then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.